Okay, Stan, I just wanted to show you something quick. Um, the front part here was turning on and off, and I noticed that it was it was turned past being flush, and there's no mechanism to keep this tight. So what I used is a piece of fox rod here, uh, uh, what do they call it, uh, whatever kind of tube, the uh, gas tube, for um, this. It has a hole in here. Let me get in here. It has a hole here and here. So what I did is took this top rail off, tighten this up to where it's flush like this, put that piece of rail inside here, and then tighten these screws down again, and that tightens against this rail, and now this doesn't move. Okay, as you can see, I have an 11 one in here, just stuck in here just to try it. Um, here's semi. All right, here's full. What I'm finding, though, the motor height was really adjusted up there, and as it's cold, if the motor's adjusted too high in there, it wouldn't turn it. Okay, um... One thing I am noticing, though, that this definitely needs, I'm shooting two O's out of this just to test it. The hop-up is all the way on, and I'm barely getting out there. So this definitely needs a new bucking, so that is the first thing I want to tell you about. The work I did on this, the motor adjustment, and I have to put a new uh, bucking in here. Um, I just want to test this before I start going on it, but because it seems like it's an easy fix, I might throw the bucking in here to start with and get this shooting. So this way you can shoot higher weight BBs if you have to, or if you want to stick with two O's, at least you have some adjustment to you know get some distance out there. All right? Just want to give you a heads up.